is we will understand about research. So from the word research, that is, it has got two syllables, re and search. Re denotes repetitive process and search denotes making some thorough examination to find out something, to seek answers for our various questions, or it may be to find out some, something like how, what, where, etc. In general, a research can be defined as a scientific method. Uh, scientific method, when you say scientific method, it is about a systematic way of approaching things where some new facts or ideas and theories are established and proved in different areas of knowledge. Further, a research also adds to the existing stock of knowledge and uh, ultimately aimed at betterment of the world. What do we mean by a scientific method in a detailed way? It is a systematic and rational approach for seeking facts. So systematic is the main thing. And then you also try to make maximum objective way of approach rather than bringing in any subjective way of approach. To seek what? To seek the facts. Facts are nothing but uh, observations which are really true and verifiable. That means it arrives, a scientific method arrives at conclusions based on verifiable evidences. It also includes direct observation of uh, phenomena or events. So scientific method clearly defines variables, methods and procedures, how things are defined or how things are going to be taken up. It assures objectivity in gathering facts and testing creative ideas for alternative business strategies. Objectives. So uh, when we do research, it can be for various reasons or it can have various objectives. One is any phenomenon, you want to know more about the phenomenon. So you go into the depth of it, which you call it as an exploratory research studies. Another one is you may try to uh, analyze a particular individual's basic char some characteristics, or you may try to analyze a group's different characteristics or a situation's different characteristics. So you go into, again, study those characters and accurately portray that. That you call it as a descriptive research studies. Then it can also be like something is occurring and you want to analyze the frequency of that occurrence. That also can be considered as a research and it is called as a diagnostic research studies. Another thing is like you may try to uh, find out relationship between any two variables. So you want to create an hypothesis and then you want to see whether any causal relationship between there or not. That you call it as a hypothesis testing research study. Then we will understand the difference between research methods and research methodology. In general, these two words are interchangeably being used, but there are these are some of the minor differences. When you say methods, it includes all techniques, tools, methods being adopted while conducting the research. When, when you say methodology, it is about the way of doing things, how things are uh, done systematically, that is a methodology. And uh, when you talk about methods, it is applied during the later stage of the research study. Uh, when you come to your, uh, what do you call, data collection and uh, analysis, etc., that time you start applying the methods. Whereas methodologies in the initial stage itself, you define what are the what is the methodology we are going to adopt in the overall research? Some of the examples for methods are experiments, surveys, tests, etc. Uh, the methodology contains several techniques, whatever is being used while conducting these methods, means while carrying out these methods like experiments, surveys, tests, etc. There is also a difference between quantitative and qualitative approach. Of course, quantitative deals with numbers, qualitative do not deal with numbers. That is the main difference. So quantitative approach involves collection, collection of data and then you do a quantitative analysis of that particular data uh, in a proper rigid manner. Whereas in qualitative approach, you use the method of subjective assessment of it may be, mainly it is used in social uh, research assessment of opinions, behavior, attitudes, etc. In quantitative approach, we use this experimental, inferential, and simulation approaches. 
whereas in qualitative approach, we use techniques like in-depth interviews, focus group discussions, projective techniques, etc. Inductive reasoning, it is a method of reasoning in which a general principle is derived from a body of observations. Means, you try to observe certain things and slowly increase the observations and then based on whatever we observed, the pattern of observations, you try to arrive at a general principle. It consists of making broad generalization based on uh, specific observations. It's almost the same. If the premises are correct, means initial things, whatever you are chosen, if they are correct, and then the conclusion, whatever you arrive at uh, of a deductive argument, you can be very sure about it. Observing that something is true many times, then concluding that it will be true in all instances. So that is that means inductive reasoning is the process of going from observations to conclusions. You observe certain things, then next observation, third observation, fourth observation, and then finally arriving at the conclusion, which means that you start from specific and reaching general. Example, baby Rahul. I mean, this is done by someone. Someone observed that baby Rahul said his first word at the age of 12 months. When he, the baby reaches 12 months, it said his, its, uh, his first word. Means it is about a specific observation made by the researcher about a particular baby named Rahul. Then the same researcher found that whatever uh, babies he observed, they all said their first word at the age of 12 months only. That means he tried to recognize a pattern. So he is now coming to a general conclusion that all babies say their first word at the age of 12 months only. So that is what is inductive reasoning. And uh, there are uh, videos available to understand how do we do mathematical induction also. I am giving those uh, videos as a playlist in the description below as a link. You can click that and go through some of the problems being done using mathematical induction. Let us move on. Deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is a logical approach where you progress from general ideas to specific conclusion. It is just opposite of induction, inductive reasoning. There, you start from specific and reach general. Here, you start from general to reach some specific conclusions. So it starts from general and reach a specific. For example, here an example given is a person named Smith. He owns only two pants. One is blue color, another one is brown color. So a particular day, someone has observed that Smith is wearing a pant. So based on their observation, we can always deduce, deduce that Smith is wearing either a blue or a brown color pant only. That is an example for your deductive reasoning.